I said today we're gonna talk about um, how you're gonna sing higher and you're gonna follow a simple short list, uh, like it says here for you, in order to just uh, nail the head voice and definitely go higher. Um, before before we begin, just sign up for my free vocal course in the first link below. I'm gonna help you with your voice. The first thing I see in singers, especially you know new students that I have, is that a don't bypass the test voice. So we speak like this and we just fill it here, but when you go high, you have to just fill it you know above here. Otherwise, you're gonna extend the, vo the 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 test voice, the test cavities, and you're gonna crackle like oh, you're gonna you know you're gonna go like this all the time, and the throat is gonna feel you know tight and tense. Um, so it's not a matter of just you know putting too much uh, of what you have out. It's all about controlling what you have. And controlling it, it's all about bypassing the test voice. The easier part of everything is just to have less volume. When you try exercises, you definitely have to have less volume. Even if you go high, if you just feel it here and if it's too much, then you have to just, you know, um, definitely change that thing and flip it up in the head voice. Otherwise, it's going to crackle. Uh, you know, I can't go there, but if I just, you know... Flip it. You see, it was it was way easier. You know, even this awesome cry, uh, that effort there, it will help you definitely go way higher than before. All right, so, you know, you see, you can do this without, you know, feeling it here. It's all about, you know, controlling from the test, from the head voice, sorry. And just, you know, pushing it from the diaphragm. Otherwise, it will crackle again. And less volume, you see, as I go high, I don't really sound it. I'm just trying to control it and keep the volume even, like I'm talking here. Of course, it's not the same thing. As you go higher, you're going to have more volume, but that's what it is. Yes? If you're in the mixed voice, if you're going to falsetto... the voice just changing here I'm using the full scores this is just another thing we don't want to just get there uh, for the time being in this video but what I'm saying is like you have to just control it and just you know just having less volume mastering the warm-up exercise is really important with this so all you have to do with the warm-ups you have just to have the sensation have the feeling that it's all right what you're doing. So again, everything down, you know, in your uh, in your belly, in the diaphragm, and just try to hum some hummings. Just feel it here, you know, in front of my mask and down there. You know, as I go higher, just try to just put it up there, up in the soft palette, up in my hand voice, and have that pharyngeal tone there. The pharyngeal voice is the way to go. Same thing with bubbles. Bubbles does the king of the all of the exercises. What you're gonna do uh, in terms, especially in terms when you're going for warm ups. So first, you have to find this thing. You know, my stomach is really tired. I'm, I'm just doing, like, doing abs.
all right? So this is the way to go. Just try some how make sense of bubbles before you do anything. At least, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes is enough. It's better than nothing. If you have more time, try half an hour doing warm-ups with other exercises like zzz, or with vzz sound, which just engages more the diaphragm. It has the same sensation as doing bubbles. It's not that intense, but it has the same sensation. Again, think only of the diaphragm when you do all the exercises, especially if you're not mature. If you're starting now, think only of the diaphragm. The diaphragm is going to get you there without adding having all the, you know, all the throaty thing there. So even when you talk, I'm talking now, I'm just, you know, engaging my diaphragm because I've done it so many times. So the more you do it, the more you're going to have more muscle memory. It will be easier in the exercises. Therefore, in your singing process, it's going to be way, way better. And for, you're going to have a fuller sound, more sustained, better intonation. Uh, you're going to understand more of the pitch. You're going to... You know, even your, even you know, um, the, the your ear is gonna be better. You know, listening to the notes and then you're gonna definitely can do them better and just be more secure what you're doing. So I would just say, you know, one team. But we have only one team. You no know, five. I've done today. You no know, five. Just one. That would be the hair voice. You have to engage the hair voice. You have to flip your voice uh, from the test to the head in order to get higher like we did before with the air sound otherwise again you go crackle you will feel like you extending the chest cavity here you have more throat tension and in the long run it will be a disaster for your voice hope you like those tips please subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye